The only question is how far off is that future? A new approach to our energy policy in this country will be to learn to match our energy resources to our energy use. Since the major energy use in the United States is as heat, what we want is an energy resource that delivers heat. And that is what the sun does with today's technology very, very well. Solar radiation is an extremely versatile energy resource. The most direct and inexpensive ways to use it correspond to one of our greatest needs, the heating of homes, buildings, and hot water. Solar heat is provided by technology which is simple, flexible, and accessible to anyone who wants to use it. Much of the impact of solar energy will come from retrofitting solar heating systems onto existing buildings. In early 1978, workers at San Jose State University in California completed work on a solar water heating system for three dormitories. Built largely by students, Project Sun Shower provides all hot water needs on a clear day with a one to two day storage capacity. In New York City, a group called the People's Development Corporation installed a solar hot water system on an old apartment building as part of a community-based renovation program. My name is Claude Burling, and what we have here are collector panels for solar energy and domestic hot water use. We have intentions on doing solar energy in some of our other buildings, which this is one in five buildings that we intend to renovate. What happens is that water is being heated up from the sun's rays and then transferred through the pipes down through here and then is shot into the building. This is called an active solar system because pumps are used to transfer solar heated water from the collector panels to a storage tank in the basement. Incoming cold city water is circulated through a coil in the tank to absorb the solar heat before going to the regular water heater. This preheating saves substantial amounts of energy and in the summer all of the hot water used by residents of the building is solar heated. The principle of all solar hot water heating systems is really the same. The sun strikes a black and metal panel, it heats up the panel, we then run a fluid behind the panel either in a sandwich form as we have here or in tubes connected to black metal. In any case, the heat of the panel is taken away by the fluid that we flow behind it. This takes advantage of a very important property of solar radiation. Solar radiation is really essentially light radiation. It's short wavelength. So it can go through glass, and when it strikes a blackened surface, it is converted to heat by the surface that it strikes.